Today's video is going to be a hair review on this unit that I am wearing from RPGHair.com. Now just to clear this up, RPG Hair and RPG Show are two separate entities. I have worked with both of them, but today's video is all about RPG Hair. Currently RPG Hair is having a grand opening sale where it is 25% off the entire site up until I think October 15th. So if that gives you guys some more ammunition to check out their site, you definitely should. And I also have a coupon code for you guys, which is Catherine 10 to get an extra $10 off if you spend $100 or more on their site. So not only are you getting 25% off already, but you can also add an additional $10 off if you use my coupon code. So today's unit that I am rocking is their Virgin Brazilian Hair Deep Wave Full Lace Wig. The style number is FLW13. And don't worry, all this information and the link to this hair will be down below. Um, the hair texture is deep wave. The hair length is 18 inches and the wig density is 150% or considered heavy. So a little bit later on in this video, I will be showing you guys how I actually styled this unit and kind of got it to look like this. Um, I bleached the lace on it to kind of mimic my scalp a bit more as you can see. I cut in a little bit of baby hairs. Uh, what else did I do? I put a rinse on it because originally it came in like a 1B natural color. And I also plucked it a little bit because it was looking kind of full up and through here. And I wanted like it to be a little bit more realistic. So before I get into showing you guys those steps, I want to tell you a little bit about my experience with this unit so far. So I just started handling this unit about three or four days ago, which is when I started manipulating it, bleaching the lace. Uh, putting a rinse on it, cutting it, plucking it, all that good stuff. So I want to go ahead and insert a picture here of how the unit looked when I first took it out the box and put it on my head. You can see that the waves in it were a bit tighter as far as texture go, but I was really impressed with this unit that even after I bleached the lace and washed it and put a rinse on it, that the waves pretty much reverted back to their original state. Not as tight, they're a little more um, carefree to them, but it makes it look a little bit more realistic than how it did coming straight out the package. So I was really happy that the overall texture did stay with this unit. So I didn't cut any layers or anything into the hair. It was already kind of layered when I got it. So it gives you like kind of a flip over look. I do have a part in mind, but you can definitely achieve more of a flip over look if you don't want a part. Um, so I think that's really, really cute about this wig. Um, so overall, I've been having a good experience with this unit. If you guys like an update on how it treats me, I definitely can give you an update in about two weeks or so. But for now, let's get into the process of how I like style and manipulate this unit. So first, here's just a quick view of the unit before I do any manipulating to it. As you guys can see, it has some super long baby hairs in the front, which I'm going to go in and fix uh, later on in the video. And then flipping the wig inside out, you can see there are two combs at the front that are like clip-in combs that are like flush against your scalp, so it'll make it be super secure and super realistic looking. Then there's a comb in the crown of the unit and also a comb at the nape of the unit as well as an adjustable strap to tighten or loosen the unit as need be. So now we're going to hop into the bleaching process. So first I'm grabbing my Clairol BW2 Extra Strength uh, Powder Lightener along with my Clairol Cream Developer. Adding these two together is basically what is going to bleach the lace. I'm also grabbing this Proclaim Neutralizing Shampoo. All of these items can be purchased at a beauty supply store or at Sally's. And then I also have this like dyeing um, brush which is good for applying liquid products to like lace or hair. And then I have this like hair mixing product mixing bowl. So grabbing that bowl, I'm putting a scoop of the bleach into the bowl. And then I'm kind of just gonna eye it as far as measurements go, guys. Um, you want it to have a consistency sort of like mayo, maybe peanut butter, so that it doesn't seep through your lace. So like I said, I'm just eyeballing it here. I ended up pouring a little bit too much. You guys are going to see how liquidy it is. I'm using a fork to stir this, a plastic fork, just because since it has like the teeth on the fork, it'll help calm through the clumps of the powder and it'll just help it mix up really quickly 
and way better than if I use like a spoon or the brush or whatever. So you guys can see how it was super liquidy. So I added in some more of that bleaching powder and then I'm just mixing it up until I get a nice consistency. Now you guys see that I'm not wearing any gloves in this video just because I didn't have any at home and I really didn't want to postpone uh, wearing this unit or making this video for you guys. But I would definitely suggest uh, wearing gloves just to protect your hands. Um, you never know what can happen. But I've done this so much that I was, you know, I think I was good. So now that I'm done mixing up the bleach, I'm grabbing my styrofoam head and y'all can see she's been through it. She has dye stains on her, some needle like marks on her face, but she still works great for me. So taking the wig with it still inside out, I'm just pinning it onto the styrofoam head just to keep it in place while I am applying the bleach to the lace. So now with that applicator brush that I showed you guys a few minutes ago, I'm just laying the bleach on top of the lace. You definitely want to have a light hand when it comes to this because if you're too heavy handed, the bleach will go through the lace too far and it'll bleach the roots of the hair, making it blonde and you definitely don't want that to happen. For some reason it happened to me today and it never happens, but luckily for me I was going to go back and dye the hair anyway. So I was able to go and kind of color correct it. So now I'm just setting my timer for 25 minutes, guys. But that is really a long time. Um, the bottle says to do 25 minutes. But when it comes to bleaching, you probably need to do only 10 minutes so it's not over-processed. So now I'm going to go and rinse the bleach off. You kind of want to do this with the wig still inside out so that it doesn't run on the hair too much. Um, sometimes it will run on the hair regardless, but you want to avoid it as much as you possibly can. And so basically I'm kind of just scrubbing the bleach out of the lace. You can see how deeply embedded my bleach is on the lace, which is going to affect the color of my root uh, of the roots of this unit. But like I said, I'm going to go back and fix it. So like I said, you definitely want to have a light hand when applying that bleach. So first, I'm just rinsing all the bleach out. And once I do that, I'm going in and grabbing this neutralizing shampoo. I love this shampoo um, because it comes out yellow. But if you put it on your lace or on your hair and it still has bleach, it'll turn pink to let you know. But if it foams up white like mine is, that means you've removed all of the bleach. So it's really helpful when it comes to knowing whether you still have bleach on your hair or lace or not. And so I'm basically just running that through the hair and through the lace and just, you know, giving it a good little coating. This is also a period of time where you can go ahead and shampoo and condition your unit if that's what you're up for. But I'm about to go and dye mine anyway, so I just skip that stuff for now. Now time to dye or color the hair since this isn't an actual permanent dye. It's like a semi-permanent dye and this is by the brand I think Adore. I just get these in a beauty supply store. I got one in jet black and one in blue black and I'm just taking an applicator brush again. Y'all this can be used for so many different things and I'm basically just brushing the dye throughout the hair starting with the bottom of the hair first and then I'm going to work my way up to where the lace is because I want to take my time on that part so i just laid out some aluminum foil on my dining room table my mom would kill me if she saw me doing this um and now i'm just applying it to the lace you guys can't see because i was holding it really close to my face um to make sure that i was laying it on there very slowly and very accurately so that it wouldn't dye my lace because we did all that bleaching of the lace so you don't want to go back and dye your lace black like that defeats the point so you definitely want to take your time on this part if you don't take your time doing anything else when it comes to customizing your unit. So now we definitely want to let this sit for the whole 25 minutes. This is just going to make sure that that color really takes to that blonde hair and also that the rest of our hair comes out jet black as well. And so basically guys, you just see me rinsing out the rinse and you can see the color of it coming off into the sink. So it just created this really pretty jet black, blue black color for the unit. Uh, I definitely don't like off black or 1B units, um, so this is something that I always, always do. Um, sometimes I do use a permanent dye, but just for, you know, for the video, I use the semi-permanent. And you guys can see I'm checking um, the root of the hair to see if it is dyed black or if it's still blonde. It is a little light, so I may go back and re-dye it again. But if I, I put the wig on and it looks fine, then I'm not going to do anything else to it. So now you guys see me showing you the density of the hair. It is pretty light in the front as far as the density goes. So plucking is optional when it comes to this RPG hair unit. 
but in most units you do have to pluck a little bit just to make their hairline a bit more realistic so that part is pretty self-explanatory so i went ahead and just sped up this part of the video because it took me about a good 30 minutes to actually do but i didn't want to include all of that on camera because i think you guys get the gist and i went ahead and cut the lace off i started by just cutting far away from the hairline and then i went back and was a bit more precise in my cutting to make sure I didn't cut out too much of the hairline and to also make sure that I got really close to the hairline. So now you guys get to see me with my busted up braids for a quick second and I'm just applying the wig on my head snapping all the clip-in combs into place and also the comb and the crown in the nape area. Now I'm kind of just finger combing the wig out and I am parting off about um, a tenth of a centimeter um, of hair from the hairline and I'm just using a razor comb from the beauty supply store to kind of razor this hair to create more baby hair and to also cut the baby hair that was already there that was super long for some reason and now with my tweezers I'm going in and doing some additional plucking just to lessen the density of that hair um, that is near my hairline and now taking about an inch of hair away from the hairline I'm going in and plucking behind it this is so that I don't take too much from the front of the hairline and make any bald spots. Uh, plucking behind about an inch of the hair will help conceal that if you make any mistakes. So now with a bottle of water, I'm just spraying this hair so that texture will come back. And I'm just using some edge control to just smooth out my edges and lay down some of them baby hairs, guys. And that was pretty much all I did. So that was it for the like installation and styling part of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really haven't done a hair review in a while and I knew that when I started coming back with hair reviews that I really want to be more in depth of what I did to make my wig more wearable. Zarius is calling me guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I will see you back here tomorrow on my channel for another Cat Tubber video. Bye!